Hi, I'm Josh Palloon. Welcome to another video in the RSP Supply Education Series. If you find that these videos are helpful to you, it certainly helps us out if you could give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we want to pick up where we left off last time in talking about some of the things that you should consider when selecting the hardware for your specific industrial application. If you have not seen the first part of this brief series, we will link the video in the description below so that you can refer back to it. In that video, we discuss what it means for hardware to be classified as industrial, and also a few things to look for to make sure that the hardware you are selecting falls into that category. Today we are going to talk about a few more things that you should consider when making your hardware selections. One of the first things you want to look at is the specific applications you are working in. Is there any existing hardware that is already being used? If so, does the client want you to match that existing hardware? If this is the case, your job just got a lot easier because the customer has already made the decision for you and in most cases has already vetted the hardware to ensure that it is suitable for that specific application. The last thing you want to do is spec out hardware for a job only to find out that it is not what the customer wanted or even worse, that it is not compatible with existing hardware. Speaking of compatibility, this is something that should also be considered when making your hardware selections. It is important to know that if the hardware you will be using will work with whatever might already be in place. This can be anything from conduit, terminal blocks, electrical hardware, PLCs, and many other components. Take time early in the process to ensure that everything will work together as you and your client intend them to. Let's talk about some other very important factors that you should consider. It is important to think about any power restrictions that you may encounter. Ensure that the hardware that you are selecting can operate within the power that you will have at your disposal. Also make sure you know what type of environment the hardware you will be using will be located in. Is it hazardous? Is it in an area that is prone to fire or explosion, such as a class 1 div 1 or class 1 div 2 environment? Make sure the hardware you select is intended for these areas. This is absolutely critical. With all of these things being taken into consideration, some of the last things you may want to look at are the brands that are available to you as well as the suppliers you prefer to use. While this is not as important as some of the other factors that we have discussed, it can make a big difference when you are ordering them from these places over and over and working with this hardware day in and day out. Anything you can do to make life easier will allow you to perform at a much higher level. For a full line of industrial control panel hardware and thousands of other products, please go to our website for more information or other educational videos, go to rspsupply.com, the internet's top source for industrial hardware. Also, don't forget, like and subscribe.